of Crom fucking fitness god damn it so uh, I'm gonna take you on an interesting tour today as you know uh, these videos are all about you know training at home and using what you have to work with you know uh, if you're on a budget or you're in a tight spot you know whatever 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 situation you may be in that's what this is about right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on a tour on uh, my little training facilities my train my little training facility <laughs> I'll edit that out later. So uh, you'll see everything that I uh, that I use, how I came up with ideas. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna explain anything. I'll just here we go. Okay. So this we got to work with. We have some cement blocks that a buddy got for me from a construction site or his company. He picked me up some sk a skid. I got myself a two by four. I got myself a couple pieces of cardboard and some planks of wood. You can see there. And we also got, you're saying, what the fuck has he got cardboard up against the wall for? <laughs> I'm sure some of you are wondering that from my previous videos. You've seen that in the background. Like, what the fuck's that for? Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys what that's all about. We got a couple of our Rona buckets that you've definitely seen, okay? We got some rope, which I will show what we're going to do with that later. All right, then we have our backpack with uh, our water jugs inside. Take, see if I can take that out there. Oh, I jammed in here pretty good. Just a couple of water bottles, right? You know, it's probably a good uh, 20, 30, 40 pounds there, whatever. So I'm gonna invest probably next month in a bigger backpack, you know. Um, okay, then we got rocking chair, which we don't use for training, but a couple of dining room chairs, which are gonna come in real fucking handy later. Now I'll show you guys how I put it all together, all right? So the buckets, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the cinder blocks, you know what I was using those for? I stand on them as a platform to do like deadlifts and bent over rows because with the buckets, uh, they're too too tall, so I can't. Um, uh, what's, how how do I explain that? I need the height in order to, for the so the the weight doesn't hit the ground. So if you had dumbbells, you could just go on a, on a bench or something or on a chair and do it, right? But because I got these buckets and I chose buckets because I know I could hold a lot more weight, so that's what the the center blocks are for. Um, also, the cinder blocks are going to be used for uh, two exercises. They're going to be for uh, military presses after sets of shoulders. I'll do another video on how I use that. And we're also using them for uh, chest to get pumped. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Okay, so let's start assembling our training facility. High-tech training facility. All right, so we're going to start off with these uh, pieces of cardboard. Now, as you can, I'll focus in here. You can see there's a nail here. Okay, and that's what's holding these these things up. So we're gonna take this down. <clears throat> oh wait, hang on. Scratch that. I'm gonna move these buckets out of the way because they'll have their place after we put the cardboard down. Now this is gonna be really fucking interesting. How I'm gonna set this up when I got uh, a bunch of furniture in here. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. All right, so let's lay down some cardboard, you know, because we want to protect our hardwood floors, right? Obviously, but also if we're on our hands and knees and stuff like that, it gives a little bit of cushion, right? So we do got that one. And this one comes down. All right. So basically they just fit together like that, you know, perfect. 
you know, someday maybe we'll get some rubber mats for this. But like I said, we're just this video. These uh, this video is all about having what we have to work with. Okay, our pails take their place over here. There's my pills. Got to keep those handy. All right, now let's show you. Uh, okay, let's go with what we're going to use the skid for. I'll show you what we do with this thing. We'll get our two pieces of cardboard. So what we do with the skid is we place the, uh, the cardboard there on top. See that? So when we do our forearms, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to lay my forearm on top of the on top of the uh, the skid, and then we'll just do wrist curls like this. Let me try and zoom out here for you. See, and we'll just and you do if you're doing wrist curls, make sure you let it, you go right down to your fingertips, right, and then roll it all the way up. Okay, so that's what we do. That's what we do with the skid. So it works pretty damn good. Now, um, I remember mentioning you guys um, that whenever I make certain changes to my uh, my training regimen that I would be do a video on it. Uh, I'll do two separate videos on it, but uh, I just want to show you what I've just came up with this week. So uh, as far as chest goes, normally we just do push-ups. So uh, it's, I want to. I've been dying to just amp this, uh, change up this chest routine a bit, you know. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to build myself a fucking bench to use. So uh, yeah, uh, let's do that. Okay, now let's see how this assembly of this bench goes. Uh, I just picked up some wood. And uh, we'll see if we can make this work. Let's see. This one's not staying properly. Stay. All right. So if you guys remember in the video of the of the room, there was a bunch of uh, wood in the corner, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Try accomplish with that. So first, I'm gonna grab my chairs. Yeah, pretty nice chairs, eh? They're really heavy oak. I guess it's oak. It's a hardwood, anyways. Really sturdy. We got those, so we're pretty happy about having that. So we'll get the chair set up here. There's one. Two. Just gonna grab my glasses there. Okay, let's see if we can let's see what we can uh, figure out here. Yeah, because I've been just dying to do some more variations of chest, right? Like I want to do, I want to start doing flies. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the routine together today probably. Once this, if this bench press <laughs> experiment, uh, this bench experiment goes well. All right, so let's get some wood here. Okay. So we've got little pieces like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide them through just slide them through the uh, the rails of the of the chair. There's like empty spaces, so I'm gonna slide that through there. We'll take this one. And they're pretty thick, like they're two separate pieces, so they're pretty thick. And they're just long enough, so I think they'll work out pretty well. I think, I think. I'm gonna space that out a little bit more. And grab the other two. Let's see, I think we got some more wood here. Grab this two here. Uh, that doesn't quite fit. Oh, 
we're not going to force that. So we'll just work with this. Now we'll just work with those three. I think that'll work out just fine. And we got a nice flat plank right here. We'll lay that up on top. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good here. <clears throat> I'll show you guys what I got so far. So there's the two chairs and our wood going across it. I think that's gonna I think that's gonna hold us just fine. So I got myself some rope. Duct tape and rope! Gotta have it. Let's see how I cut this. Or maybe I won't cut it. I'll just wrap it and then unwrap it as I go. Because I don't know if the wood will slide back and forth in place. Like if I have to leave it together or take it apart every time. So what I'm going to do just for now is I'm just going to wrap this. That's pretty sturdy. Maybe I'll put a cinder block underneath it just in case it does break. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie this around, this rope. Just make a knot here. Do a quick knot. I think this is going to work out pretty damn good. take the string and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around it like this there, pull it tight just wrap it around yeah I ran out of duct tape so that's why I'm using rope <laughs> <laughs> I use a lot of duct tape uh, filming videos because that's what I use to stick my phone to the wall or whatever, right? Okay. Well, that seems to be holding it together pretty good. Tie that to there. Just make a quick knot here. Okay, well it's just a temporary thing, just to keep them together. Temporary, I'll do a, I'll make it a lot safer and stronger later. I just, you know, this is just like the prototype, right? So now I'm thinking, I need some padding. I have to put some padding on there, right? So I'm just going to use uh, my pillow is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, don't necessarily need it for my ass, I'm, what I need it for is my mid-back, right? Because when you're coming across like this, your shoulder blades are going to close in, right? So you don't want the wood digging in your shoulder blades. Alright, now let's test this motherfucker out. Okay. Now we gotta give it the ultimate test. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> okay. All right. That's holding my weight, so. It should be more than enough for me lying down on it. There's no way it should break. If she's going to hold me like that, be fine. You guys would probably want me to jump up and down until it breaks, right? Yeah, that'd be funny as fuck, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's try this out. Let's get the pillow here. For our back. Get our two pails. Oh. Poop the dandy. 
so much easier if I had dumbbells, right? Because what's going to happen here, because the tails are so long, they're going to hit the ground, right? Normally. Like for bent over rows, it would be no good, because if I'm doing bent over rows, right? Like this, they're going to hit the ground. That's why I got the platform. Oh, shit. Oh, I tweaked my knee. But I'm going to do the, I use these buckets for flies. So, we can't, we don't want to go past parallel with our flies anyways, because after that you're just fucking up your shoulders, right? So let's see. Oh. I'm definitely going to fine tune this later. <laughs> you're watching me go through the uh, uh, process of, uh, the thinking process, I guess you can call it. I'm sure there's a better way of saying that, but. Right. So let's get back on this thing. Oh, oh, that pillow is perfect. That pillow is perfect. I'm just going to move this up a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because you guys couldn't see there. Make sure the wood's on the other end. <laughs> All right. Oh, there was a crack there. Oh, oh. okay. So basically we're just going to go like this and bring the weight up like that. Oh, see, we're going to be in trouble here. See how the buckets are turned like that? That's not good. We can't, you know, that's going to that's gonna fuck us up. I could go like that just for the squeeze of the chest maybe. I'm not going to be able to get that top contraction at the top, right? Because the buckets are fucking sideways, right? You can't be doing that if you got 50 pounds of friggin' water in them, right? Let's just see what my range of motion would be. Yeah. This ain't gonna fucking work. Oh. I thought it would. But that's not gonna work at all. But. What we can do. What we can do is use the cinder block. So this is what I was thinking. I was going to do this in a separate video, <clears throat> but this is what I'm going to do. So normally I do push-ups. I do, uh, you know, I usually do 10 sets to failure. Well, I think I'm up to maybe 12, 13, or whatever it is now, and that's the end of it, right? So I'm going to do what I do with back. I'm going to superset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cinder block, which I will get now. Grab my cinder block and I'll just place it right here. Yeah, I'll probably have to use gloves for this. I've already cut my hands already on these damn cement blocks. Uh, where's my gloves? Excuse me. Okay, so what I'll do. On my next chest workout is after I do a set of uh, push-ups. Immediately after I'm done, I'm gonna climb on my bench that we just fucking made. God, this thing better not snap. <laughs> it held my weight. Don't worry about it. Maybe I'm gonna just shorten the shorten the chairs just in case. You know. The shorter the distance, the shorter the distance, the sturdy it is, right? Physics 101. Okay. I don't know what's the best way to hold this up. Okay, now I'm thinking, okay, well, if I do that. See, now I'm thinking that if I'm going down and I'm pushing up on it. 
the weight is going to be, my hands are going to be close together, they're not going to be wide. So when you got your hands close together, it tends to work your triceps more. See, that's what I'm thinking. So, hmm. I don't know, I'll do a set and we'll see how it feels. If I can get some kind of pump in the chest, that's all we're at, looking for, right? Because we're getting the, uh, the heavy set to the push-ups, right? Because me doing push-ups with my body weight is quite a bit of weight, right? You know, for now it's fine. You know, someone weighs 130 pounds, and you know, doing push-ups might not give them the heavy intense work that they're looking for, right? But for now, just because my body, I'm actually using my body weight for resistance, and it's, believe me, it's fucking tough. So let's, let's do a set of this. And uh, we'll see how our chest feels. But I'm, I'm really thinking I'm going to feel it in the triceps. But I wonder, my grip on this on this block is going to be like this, right? It's not going to be like this. So let's let's see how that feels. This is a pretty good video, you know, because you're going to see how uh, the thought process I go through when I'm trying to figure shit out, right? Figuring out exercises. You know, uh, all the things that go into what works best, what doesn't. So, yeah, you guys actually see, catch me in the moment, figuring shit out, right? It's just not me watching a video on YouTube and then just regurgitating that bullshit to you guys, right? <laughs> all right, so here we go. Oh, so there's the block. Oh, wait, do I gotta sit down? Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see if I do it higher. Higher on my chest, I mean. Yeah, I'm feeling that the triceps big time. Okay, if I go lower, I mean lower towards my chest, not higher this way, but if I'm going lower down here and pushing up, I'm definitely feeling it more on my chest. Oh yeah, for sure, okay. So just put your knee up like this. I like that. Okay, so, fuck man, I worked out pretty goddamn good. Pretty damn good, I think. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my day fine tuning this bench. And uh, yeah, fuck. I'm pretty happy the way that one out worked out. Yeah, yeah, so definitely, I'm fucking happy about that. So uh, the only thing we have left to do today is triceps. Then I'll finish off another cycle, a week cycle. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably do that, well, probably mid-afternoon. I got some more videos to shoot and that, so. Plus we got the, the UFC tonight. Yeah, it's really too bad about Tenderson dropping out, but, uh, I mean, Tony Ferguson dropping out. What a freak accident, eh? <laughs> They're never going to put that fight together. You know, fifth time's the charm. But hopefully, uh, yeah, someone streams out on YouTube so I can check that out. And tomorrow, the big day, WrestleMania, man! Woo! WrestleMania, can't fucking wait. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, for you people who don't know what WrestleMania is, it's fucking wrestling. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> uh, WrestleMania is like the biggest pay-per-view event for a pro wrestling of the year. So, pretty fucking pumped up about that. I might actually splurge and get something to drink for that one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, uh, that's it. They're, uh... That's the tour um, of uh, how I put the home gym together just using odds and ends. I have everything I need here for to hold me for quite a while. You know, uh, normally if my legs were all busted to shit and had like 50 pounds of metal in it, um, you know, I would definitely need some kind of squat rack for sure to work those legs because, you know, it's just there's no way around it, right? There's just no fucking way around it. You can only go so heavy with a backpack, right? So, anyways, I'm pretty happy about that. 
Hopefully you found this video entertaining. You know how I turned my my new abode into a training facility. Only the best for me. <laughs> Anyways, take care guys. Have yourselves a fabulous fucking weekend. And I'll probably see you guys on Monday or Tuesday. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Crown bless you all.